This unit this is our pneumatic hydraulic drum stacker rotator. So it's telescopic, it's all air powered. So we're going to lift this drum and tip it into the vessel. I'll drive forward and you'll see the arms clamp in. Power drive, so from this tiller here. So when I pull this back, you'll hear the pump making a noise as you drive forward to the drum. So we've got our pads between the drum now. We can have a good look at that, I'm quite happy. So then we can clamp the pads. We do this by pressing a button here. As soon as we clamp the drum, we can lift. To show you the full extent of its lift, I don't need it to tip into that vessel, but I'm going to go all the way up and then back down just to show you the sort of lift height this unit achieves. And then back down. Drive forward again. I normally drive forward so the bottom of the drum just touches the vessel and then we can press the tip control. When you're driving the unit, the speed of the drive will depend on how high you lift the drum. So when the drum is lifted above a certain height, the drive will be very, very slow. So now with the drum in the lowered position, you have a faster drive speed. This is obviously for stability. When the drum is raised very high, we don't want to be traveling towards the vessel at any speed. So now we can put the drum on the floor. And then we, we have to use two hands to release the clamp. So you have to press two buttons at the same time. And that's it, ready to pick up the next drum. We're now looking at the rear controls. So there's a number of e-stops, one here on the back of the handle one here on the top of the panel. You press this down, everything will stop. To reset, we turn. Here, you have your clamp control, so we press here to clamp. And as we press this clamp, the meter will go up, and you have to judge this on the type of drum you have. There is a green zone there. Then we have the up, and the down, and the tip, and the return. And you can see here the, the twin unclamp buttons. On the tiller, we have a horn, and we have an e-stop on the back, and then we have these two throttles that you rotate forward to go forwards, and back to go back. And as you move the tiller up or down, it won't work in the fully down position or the fully up position. So if you let go, the unit will stop. <laughs>